there's a chess game, and the the ultimate checkmate is, what's a woman? Yeah. I mean, when you're coming to with, with wokeness, and any you can identify as a woman, you get to use the female restroom. Like, okay, but what is it? Yeah. What's a woman? You know, can a man get pregnant? Yes. Okay. Well, what is it? Can a biological male get pregnant? And then people panic and they start. The the pe- pe- people that identify as a woman uh, are <laughs> capable of being pregnant, and people that identify as a male are capable of also being pregnant. Like, what are you saying? Yeah. What's a, say? If you identify as a woman, what are you identifying as? Like, that's the documentary, the Matt Walsh documentary, exactly, which is fucking amazing, and also amazing that no one's reviewing it. Mm-hmm. No, no one, one's reviewing yep. it. That documentary is fantastic because Matt Walsh allow, and you can only get it on the Daily Wire, I think, which is unfortunate, but I get it. You know, I get it. The Daily Wire yeah. produced it. They want people to sign up, and they're creating this alternative platform for content. But that documentary is so good because Matt Walsh simply asks questions, yeah. and he doesn't. And he does it deadpan, yeah. and it's amazing watching these people just like twist reality into yeah. some weird fucking <laughs> contortion. contortion it's not <laughs> yeah. it's like yeah. what are you saying it's what so is a woman what exactly. does it mean yeah it's so revealing you know you're you're marching for women's rights but mm-hmm. what does that mean so if i decide i'm a woman and i go out you're marching for me mm-hmm. i'm a woman now right you could just say it yeah like we, we can't have that that doesn't make sense and it doesn't mean you can't have trans people mm-hmm. it doesn't mean that yeah you can most certainly and it doesn't mean you're against yes yeah, anyone. you're not denying anyone's existence yeah. either they, they exist however if you want to be pregnant you must be a biological female mm-hmm. this is science mm-hmm. this is something that we have all studied and looked at and observed and this is fucking doctrine. It's yeah. no getting around it. Yeah. If you want to breed, if you want the egg in the womb, <laughs> you want the whole thing to happen, the uterus, the baby, yep. that's a woman. Yeah. Just because you have a fucking beard because you're taking testosterone, <laughs> you're still a woman. Yeah. Like, this is crazy. And, that, and that's what was so powerful about that documentary was both Matt Walsh's demeanor and, frankly, his respect with whoever yes. he was questioning and the spectrum of people that he spoke to on this yes. from, you know, psychiatrists, psychologists, doctors, professors, and even uh, the woman who transitioned hormonally who has to terrible regret. become a man who yeah. is ter- like crying on camera. That's this. That's the problem in this country when, you know, everyone wants to talk about representation. Here's what's not represented at all in the mainstream media people that have had a horrible experience having gender transition surgery and regret it deeply. Yeah. There's a lot of them. Mm-hmm. It's not a small amount. It's a lot of people. Yeah. It's it's not a cut and dry thing. Look, if there was a way where we had some sort of genetic engineering where, you know, some super advanced form of CRISPR where uh, I could just decide I want to be a woman now and then bam, now I have a double X chromosome, I have a vagina, I'm an actual woman, Mm -hmm. like 100%. Not surgery. And here's the other thing, it's like, if you're saying that you identify as a woman, you're a woman, okay, why do you have to get an operation then? Right. What, why do you have to take hormones? Right. Like, why do you have to do all that stuff? And that stuff seems to be where all the problem lies because that is purely experimental, yeah. the, the, especially when it comes to children. Like, we're now finding when they're talking about hormone blockers, they were saying hormone blockers are reversible and there's no side effects. That's not true at all. They're finding horrific side effects for kids who take those things. Right. And we don't have a lot of long-term data. We just don't. Yeah.